Hopefully by the time y'all see this video, we will have gotten an update and this news will not be news anymore. Anyway, YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And in this video, Jeff Zrebik tweeted out earlier today that Marlon Humphrey not only left practice, but he walked off with a limp. Uh, apparently he was one-on-one -on -one, uh, with Jalen Moore uh, and he slipped, went to the ground and he stayed down for a bit. And he limped to the locker room. Um, and that is, of course, never a good sign. Um, I know Jonas Schaefer, he said that it, Marlon Humphrey was in clear pain. Um, so just saying it out loud. Now, like I've read it several times, but saying it out loud, it makes it that much scarier. Um, but so hopefully with Marlon Humphrey, this won't be anything serious. Uh, hopefully and, and see what made it not necessarily even worse, but what made us sort of wonder about it that much more is because Ravens had a presser today. And in that presser, uh, Greg Roman spoke and Don Martindale spoke. Now, Don Martindale Wink, he is, of course, the defensive coordinator for the Ravens. So Marlon Humphrey is one of his guys. Uh, and when he was asked about Marlon Humphrey... He just sort of deflected. He was like, oh, y'all got to ask Harbaugh about that one. I don't even know yet. You got to ask Hobbs. Uh, he didn't say, oh, it ain't nothing serious. He didn't say, oh, it ain't nothing to worry about. He said, hey, you, you got to ask Hobbs. So ho hopefully that's not anything. Hopefully it doesn't end up turning into anything. And hopefully this whole thing, like I said, can just be a thing of the past. We still waiting on an update with Sammy Watkins. Um, we still waiting on an update with Deion Kane too. Like he got like some secret injury that I, I had still haven't heard anything. He's been out of practice for weeks, but we have not heard anything about what his injury is. So it makes you kind of wonder. So with, with Sammy Watkins, we'll find out when we find out. They, they said it wasn't serious, but he wasn't at practice today. Uh, so the severity of it is unknown. Uh, with Brandon Stevens, they said it wasn't serious, but he wasn't at practice today, so the severity of it is unknown. But on to sort of put a positive spin on it, they also said Kevin Zeitler wasn't serious, and he returned to practice uh, earlier this week. Um, they also said Bradley Bozeman wasn't serious, uh, and he left the game on Saturday uh, but and missed Monday, but he returned to practice today. So... Hopefully this this trend of it not being serious, it can continue to where the players, they may miss a couple of days and whatever, but they end up returning uh, sooner rather than later. And like, I don't even I don't even need to go over what Marlon Humphrey means to the Ravens. I don't I, we don't need to discuss that because we already know Marlon Humphrey is Ravens. Their best cornerback, their best overall cornerback, and he's actually one of the, the best overall cornerbacks in the NFL. Uh, he doesn't generate a ton of interceptions. That's not the way he plays. That's Marcus. Marcus Peters is that type of cornerback. Get all the picks. That's MP. Uh, but Marlon Humphrey, with his style, he just tries to make sure that you don't catch the ball. He, he ain't going to catch the ball, but he making sure that you ain't going to catch the ball either. Um, that's just how he plays. Very physical. Uh, has never been afraid to tackle. And I was just thinking about it earlier. Man, it just it seems so long ago that he used to be number 29. Y'all remember that? It seemed like he's been in F44 forever now, man. I was just looking at old tweets from when he initially uh, first changed his number to 44. I didn't like it. I didn't like the number. And y'all like, I mean, it's still an ugly number, but it works for him. It suits him. He's been balling out still. So, hey, I ain't got no problem with it. Um, but anyway, we'll just have to be patient with Marlon Humphrey and wait for whatever news comes out. Um, it's, oh, it's, just, oh, it's just scary to think about. Oh, and, and in other news, too, I guess brighter news. Um, Wink. Wink said that Anthony Averitt has been uh, one of his favorite corners this offseason. Uh, and I think he's even said that he's been the third best corner. On the team or in training camp and whatnot. Um, but with Anthony Averett, I um, y'all know I, I root for Anthony Averett heavy, man. Because I just, he, he's, uh, he's so close, man. This dude is so close. He's like on the brink, man. And I think with more playing time, with more experience, and that, that would be extremely hard for him to get. And if he did get more playing time and more experience, it would not be a good thing because that would mean that all of our top corners were out. But 
with more time and more play and more experience, he could turn that corner because he's like he's right there. Like I always talk about, he's he's always so close to making a play that he just doesn't make the play. He's not getting burnt. He ain't burnt toast. He ain't the wide receiver ain't ten yards ahead of him. It's never that, but he just got to work on making a better play on the ball. So with Anthony Averett, when Wink was talking him up, I thought about it. Even in one of the group chats that I'm in, I'm like, oh, man. Sound like they might be talking him up uh, to trade him. But hopefully that's not the case. Just like with James Prochet. Because they've been, oh, boy, they've been talking up James Prochet this offseason. Who they had been. And initially I was thinking, oh, could this be them really trying to flip James Prochet? But it seems as if that is not the case. So hopefully it's the same way uh, for Anthony Averett uh, on defense. And shout out to James Prochet, by the way. And shout out to Wink because there was a couple of people. I know Tanja mentioned it in the Ravens live stream when they were just doing their press. She was talking about Wink's chain. People asking about Wings Chain and whatnot. And then Ryan Mink. I think Ryan Mink, he, when they be live streaming, I think he be reading the comments while they be uh, in the presses. And then he asks his questions based off of the comments. Because this ain't the first time that this happened. When people been talking about something in the comment section of the live stream. And then all of a sudden Ryan Mink asks about that same topic. So we see you, Ryan. Shout out to you, though. We appreciate you. But anyway, um, he asked Wink about his chain. And Wink said, oh, yeah. He said Tay Tay told him. Pull the chain out. Keep that chain out, man. And then somebody, oh, I forgot whose name they were, but somebody came up with a real nice name for Wink, and they, they called him Wink Drippendale. And I said, ooh, I love that, man. I love that. I love that. So shout out to Wink. Shout out to Tay Tay for even suggesting that he have that chain out. And Wink said, he said the chain's coming back out, man. He said the chain will be out. Uh, and that, that'll be like his turnover chain. So keep wearing it, Wink. Ravens defense keep getting turnovers. And Wink, Wink, he just sounded so proud of, of the Ravens defense, as he should have been after seeing what they were doing, especially with the depth guys. And we know we were going up against Saints depth guys too, but still, uh, he should be very, very proud, as we were too. Anyway, team keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. Team keep it clean. I love y'all. Uh, let's hope that we get some better news with Marlon Humphrey, with uh, Sammy Watkins, with Deion Kane, with Hollywood. And like, again, every day, I've been just waiting. All right, when these hamstring guys are going to come back? Not that I want them to be rushed, but it'll be very, very good news once they come back. But Ra Ravens, all three of Ravens' top receivers are out. All three of their top receivers are out. Well, they're projected top receivers. They're definitely their top two, though. But we know Rashad Bateman was going to be one of the top receivers. All out. Sammy Watkins, Hollywood Brown, and uh, Rashad Bateman. So Duvernay and Prochet have been holding down the fort. But even like supplemental guys too. Again, Miles Boykin, he's still out. Deion Kane, he's still out. So Ravens, they, they, they banged up. But again, right now, for most of the guys, it's nothing long term. We still waiting on Nick Boyle to come back. So we'll see what happens with that. Because, oh man. So it's, it's like Ravens are in such a weird place right now. They're in such a weird place right now because they have um, they have all these guys injured. But at the same time, none of these injuries are long term injuries. Well, Bateman, I'm, I'm, I guess it's not really long term, long term. He's going to be out for a little while, but it ain't long term, long term. So it's like Ravens are in a weird place. Not a great place, but. I can't call it a good place, but it's not a bad place. It's a frustrating place, especially as fans, but it's def it definitely could be a whole lot worse. I keep saying people, oh, man, I'm getting 2015 vibes. This reminds me of 2015. No, it doesn't. No, because these guys got significant injuries at every single position during the regular season. But these have been not necessarily minor injuries, but for the most part, they've been insignificant injuries. Well, not insignificant because ain't no injury insignificant, but... They these have been more on the the minor side. I can't call it minor. I don't feel right calling these injuries minor because these players been out. Some of them been out for weeks, but they closer to the minor side than the major side uh, of injuries. So this does this is not 2015. It's not 2015. We don't want it to be either, uh, but it's not. So let's keep being patient and let's just see what. 
the rest of this day brings us because uh, NFL got a lot of transactions going on, especially with a lot of teams having to get to 80, well, with every team having to get to 85 people by 4 p.m. Eastern time today. Uh, you will continue to see more and more transactions. So I love y'all team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. Make sure you follow on TikTok. We just put out another new TikTok. TikTok is in Graven Fizz, just like everything else. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. And just like Tim Tebow are, well, just like Tim Tebow is. What's up with my English, man? Anyway, just like Tim Tebow is now with the Jaguars, we out.